I'm 16 years old and I live on a sailboat sailing the world with my family. So we're still in San Diego and I haven't really filmed that much this week and there's really not much interesting stuff we're doing right now. A lot of it is just getting the boat ready because we're about to leave in a couple of weeks and so yeah just a lot of boat works going on but I thought I'd do this video this week of kind of just telling you the whole story of how we ended up living on a sailboat and how we got to here right now into this moment. So this is really just going to be a story about my life from the beginning. Let's get into it. So for the first eight years my life was pretty normal. I lived in Australia on the Gold Coast in Tweed Heads. I lived in a house with my family. My brother and I went to school. We had, you know, that normal type of land life. But in 2014 my parents told us that we were going to buy a boat and move on for a couple of months to see if we liked sailing. This wasn't that surprising to my brother and I. It was always a dream of my family's was to sail the world. From a very young age my brother and I were told that one day we're gonna go do that and so in 2014 my parents bought a sailboat, a 44 foot ferris man boat named Catalpa. We flew to Townsville and hopped on our boat for the very first time. We then sailed down the east coast of Australia back to our hometown in Tweed. We got back home and we absolutely loved it. We wanted to make this life our new normal. So then we're on the hunt for a bigger and better boat. We started fixing Catalpa up to sell her, but life slowly got back to normal, going to school, work and all that type of stuff. So then a year went by, my parents had started a yoga wheel business, mum is a yoga teacher. So by the end of 2015, we we're ready to leave again. We hadn't yet found a bigger boat that was ready to go that we could afford. So we decided since we already had Catalpa and it was pretty much all ready to go that we should just leave on her. So that's what we did. We shut down the business, we sold everything. Taj and I got taken out of school and we moved everything we owned onto our boat. And then we set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We sailed up the east coast of Australia and absolutely loved it. So in 2017 we decided to sail to our first country. We didn't have a lot of money and our boat wasn't the greatest but we decided to leave anyway because life's too short. So off we went to explore a new country, Indonesia. Even though we didn't have the best boat or like not that much money we had an absolute ball. We went to some of the most beautiful places we'd ever seen and got to do some really awesome stuff. In 2018 we ended up in Thailand and by then our YouTube channel was slowly growing and we were making a small income off of that. That's how we could continue sailing. So then we made it to Malaysia. We hauled out the boat, did boat works, all the stuff that needed to be done. But by then, in 2019, Taj and I were getting older and bigger and Catalpa was quite small. So we were on the hunt for a bigger boat that we could sail the rest of the world in. So my dad flew back to Australia where he went to work so that we could get a bigger boat. So we stayed in Malaysia for a year while dad was at work. But then 2020 came, which means Corona happened. China has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. 20 will be the toughest year of our lives. We couldn't find a boat that was in our price range that we wanted and we didn't want to stay and have to work on a boat. We wanted to keep exploring. So we decided to leave on Catalpa. And the only country that was open at the time for having people come in because of the coronavirus was the Seychelles. So our plan was to sail across the Malacca Straits, across to Indonesia, sail down the Sumatra coast a little bit and then sail across the Indian Ocean to the Seychelles. But by the time we got to our destination where we were going to cross the Indian Ocean, Catalpa had a massive split down the front of her. And we made a decision not to cross because it probably wouldn't have been the safest and we possibly could have not made it. So we decided to stay in Indonesia and see the rest of it because we didn't get to see all of it last time. So I'm so glad that we didn't cross the Indian Ocean because we probably wouldn't be where we are right now. So in 2021, we met our favorite sailing family, Nalakai, where we then cruised with them for over a year. So we got to sail to Raj Rampart 
With no one else there, we had it all to ourselves because everyone was in lockdown. We got to surf remote islands, dive, spearfish, like have an absolute ball just in tropical islands and spend all day every day in the ocean and it was absolutely incredible. So 2021 out of all the years we've been sailing was definitely my favourite. So in 2022 we left Catalpa in Indonesia and sailed back to Australia on our friend's boat Nalakai. We didn't have a plan of what we were going to do when we got to Australia but we knew we wanted to find a bigger boat. So the first couple of months back in Australia we really just spent time with our friends and family because we hadn't seen them for years. We didn't really know what was going to happen with no boat and on the land again we didn't know what to expect but then a boat called Bella Vita popped up that was all the way over in America for an absolute ripper of a price that we could actually afford a 53 foot boat with three bedrooms two bathrooms it was like a dream boat but it was all the way over in America but I mean, that did not stop us. We'd been looking for a boat for over five years and hadn't found one in our price range that was everything we wanted until Bella Vita popped up. We hopped on a plane and flew over to America in San Diego. And that is where we are right now. So we have spent nearly a year fixing up this boat, which is like a dream boat for us. I mean, obviously we have a dream dream boat, but anyway, we got this boat for a ripper of a deal. And so for nearly a year, we have been fixing this boat up and getting it ready to sail. And now it is only three weeks till we set off. So super exciting. So that was quite a bit of information it's explaining my whole life, basically. 16 years of Bella. It's been an adventure. I'm totally grateful. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can put a thumbs up if you want. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm hoping to post every single week on a Saturday or a Sunday. And yeah. I'm excited to share more of my life with you guys and hopefully some fun stuff coming up pretty soon. So see you next time. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss it.